In the quiet town of Pripyat, Ukraine, most families were asleep. Inside reactor number four of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, a safety test was underway. And then, at 1.23 a.m., the unthinkable happened. A roar shattered the night. The reactor exploded, blasting a thousand-ton lid into the sky. Flames and radioactive ash poured out, painting the horizon red. The world's worst nuclear disaster had just begun. Firefighters rushed in, unaware they were walking into death itself. They climbed burning roofs, picked up glowing graphite with bare hands and fought a fire no human could survive. They weren't told the truth. They thought it was just a blaze, but the air itself was poison. Just a few kilometers away, Pripyat still slept. Children went to school that morning. Parents watched the orange glow in the sky, never realizing the dust settling on their windows was radioactive fallout. For 36 hours, no one was warned. No evacuation, no announcement. Officials denied the explosion ever happened. But radiation can't be hidden. When alarms went off in Sweden days later, the truth broke free and the Soviet cover-up collapsed. Buses filled the streets. 50,000 people told to leave. Just for three days, they never came back. Their homes, toys, and photos all left behind in the radioactive silence. Chernobyl wasn't just a disaster. It was a warning about pride, secrecy, and the price of silence. And decades later, the Earth still remembers. If you want the full story, the deep dive is waiting for you right now on our YouTube page, Shadow Chapters. Don't miss it.